hello and welcome to an Everyday Canines video. In this episode, I'm looking at the A-frame. So what is an A-frame? Okay, it's this big piece of equipment that you'll see on a course. It's called an A-frame because as you can see, it is perfect, makes a point at the top and it looks like a bit like an A. So if you imagine you've got your two angles of your A and your beam across, it's an A-frame, isn't it? You might see something similar in working dog trials, but they're much steeper. This is an agility A-frame. The basic construction, this one is made out of wood, which is very heavy. Most A-frames these days are made out of aluminium. They are made of two sturdy planks, which are 2.74 meters in length and 91.4 centimeters in width across. This is obviously the UK specs. There might be different specs in other countries, but they're pretty much the same because they're all trying to um, fit in with each other now. We're all trying to be the same. So your contact area, which is your different colored area, um, on this one it's white, is one meter and six centimeters up from the bottom. So that's the, the length of the contact area. And this is the point which your dog should put a foot in on the way up and on the way down. That's why it's called the contact area because they should make contact with it. All down the length of your A-frame, you should have struts. Now, with the new rubber gripping that we've got on them, technically you can avoid having struts because the, the surface is so grippy, dogs don't need it. But under Kennel Club regulations, they should be these struts set at equal distances along, but not right at the bottom, which your dog can catch your foot on. And the idea is this is going to help the dog grip as they go down. When you watch dogs, most dogs on A-frames are not really even going that fast. Sorry, they're not going slow enough to warrant the struts. But if the dog did slow down, the struts would be there to act as a stop or as a guide to help them up. So though you can have an A-frame without struts, it is under the regulations. And when I was refurbishing this A-frame, I actually decided to put struts on because if you're going to meet them in competition, you might as well train on them. As I said before, this is made from sturdy wood it makes it incredibly heavy to move about but it is substantial now the more modern a frames you'll find are made of aluminium some are made with an aluminium side and they've got um, an almost like a plastic surface which gives a lot of bounce and it's very flexible because there is a concern that when dogs are hitting into the A-frame, it should be flexible and give a bit. Because you imagine if a dog is running at this really fast, the way they jump onto the A-frame is different to the way they jump on a dog walk. On a dog walk, it's actually quite a gentle motion. But on an A-frame, they're almost hitting a flat surface. You imagine the dog is running at this at full pelt, bang, it hits here and then it's up. So there's been concerns about the give of these structures so that the dog is not putting all that impact on its shoulders when it's hitting. It's almost like hitting um, a solid wall. So we don't want that. So there's been talk about how we're making these surfaces more flexible, and that's an ongoing conversation that will continue to happen. But they've certainly looked at things about having these not too rigid, making sure there's a bit of flex and give in these surfaces, so that as the dog is going up them, it's taking the force, not the dog. So you will see aluminium mainly, but you will also see ones that have a plastic construction, a fiberglass construction on the front as well. And there will be developments on that. When the dog is going for an A-frame, what we're expecting them to do is we're expecting them to jump on, but hit the contact area, then come over, go over the apex, which is this point, the tallest point, and then come down and hit into the contact area again and move off. For most dogs, no matter the size, unless they're really small, this tends to be a three stride motion. They tend to do three strides up and then down. So when I'm watching my dogs, I can see, bearing in mind I'm counting a stride as one stride over this apex, so it's a stride over, stride over, but it's actually one motion. So you imagine the dog lands, one, two, three, and then you've got one, two, three down. So that's how I'm thinking of it when I'm doing it. Obviously, some dogs will be different if they have a really big stride. Some dogs will attempt to do this land over. Obviously, that's wrong because they've missed the contact 
and the same will probably happen on the other side. So generally you're looking at about three strides. If you say if you had a really small dog or quite a short body dog, you might find they do four. But overall, nearly all the dogs I have seen can manage to do this in three no matter their size. That is your basic gists of the A-frame and we're going to be looking into a bit more depth in other videos but that is your fundamentals of what an A-frame is and how it's used in competition and what you expect. I hope you've enjoyed this everyday canine video and if you have you might like to check out our Facebook page and also we're on Instagram and of course you can subscribe to our YouTube channel to see all our upcoming videos. So I hope to see you all again very very soon.